Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Civilization VI. Coming at you with a another episode of our Australia run, Uluru, or Uluru. I think it might be Uluru, apparently, according to an Australian person in my chat. Uluru in Australia. And John Curtin doing his John Curtin things. I ran about four or five turns there while you were gone. We're at Pop 4, Monument 2. I am running both of these tiles because... I was deciding between these two tiles and I thought, you know what? We're only losing the one production. And I'm not worried about the food too much because we're still going to grow on a pretty good turn. So there's extra two food when we're already making uh, like two, three, four, five. Uh, is not that big a deal in the city for growth. And that way we can still run the culture and the science or the culture and the faith. So I think this is the right play. It's going to push us through the culture tree that much faster, which is really, really nice. Pop 6 and Specialty District are both going to be tricky considering the pace we're moving at. We're at Pop 4. We're going to plop down for Pop 5, so it shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to get it before we get there. We'll have to get this to Pop 2, and that will get the boost to that. Another a Specialty District is interesting. A Bilber chopping this into the campus wouldn't be a bad idea. Get an early start on science. Um... With the plus three, I don't mind the idea at all. Don't mind the idea at all. Two Ralu Ralu. <laughs> How did I put it in the G? I haven't lapped them. Don't. How old do you think I am? I you, I nulled it. You nulled it, mate. Get down to the harbor and have a bear. Envoys, we're not. We're just gonna say say who's your dad like that. So we're also looking at 19 turns. Of, we would like to get a golden age. Obviously, we're gonna have to keep an eye out for what ways we can do that. Uh, we're waiting for the next turn to be able to, to settle that. So let's go ahead and pop there. Two two with the gold. That's a nice little copper settle. I like that a lot. Uh, let's see. Straight into the monument is. Pretty much always the call. We are working a 2-2. Two, two. I don't mind the 2-2 two, two start. I don't mind the 3-1 start for growth into the 1-4 either. I could buy that tile. I could also purchase a builder. A builder would not be a bad idea because I could start the builder here and turn this into a 4-2 really really quickly with gold 4-2 with gold and then send him north to do a couple things up here potentially a mine and a quarry love a camp here as well so buying a builder feels like a nice idea also it feels like a nice idea also what do you guys think nice camp is right here get rid of that marsh and it's breathtaking and then you got the mountains. Uh, I think it's purchase a builder. I think the, I think the purchase of a builder here is key. That's going to make that a 4-2. We could even do the quarry here. To get the boost. And then we don't have to worry about removing the quarry there. We can just eat those into settlers soon. So we could go... Bang, bang. And we could even just work this. Make that a 2-5. We'll be able to buy that tile here shortly. Maybe this builder just gets this city going. Don't even worry about this up here. Just rock this city. One, two, three tiles. This city is going to be moving and grooving. I think that's what we do. That was a solid accent. Do you think it was? I've been working on my Aussie. I've, I, I've listened, I listen to uh, Moondoggy uh, every day. So, I... I you know, not bad. I'm terrible with accents, but I feel like I'm getting a little better. Whole next video in Australian accent, please. Oh, jeez. I would know. I, I need to practice to do that because it's so hard. Like, there's certain words you can say that sound perfect, like uh, Haba and Bea and all that kind of stuff. But I don't know all the intricacies 
to be able to nail it that well. That would be embarrassing. No man ever Great bath flying off the shelves as usual. Feels bad man. Let's go ahead and grab our trader. We do not need housing at all. Uh, I was going to check on what these guys needed for or requested. Uh, Eureka for writing. writing that's tough. We got to be out of Civ and recruit a great admiral. That means Habas. Need to make a Habas. Uh, let's go irrigation since we got the boost to it. We could also jump sailing. Need to find another barbarian hut to pop up. We're going to get this boost. We're going to get this boost. Hopefully we find some iron. Some iron. Uh, let's, let's go here. That's a 422, just like that. How fantastic is the city of love in that? And as soon as we get the money, probably need 60 gold by the time we get there. Working pretty good gold, though. We got a lot of nice gold tiles, so... Uh, uh, three turns? Three turns we can buy the tile? Do, 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 do. Whoa. Oh, this one's active. Our volcano is active, folks. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Too bad they couldn't have been wanted a trade route. Kamasi wanting a trade route would have been sweet. Although I would have needed to open this up. I need somebody. I need a unit up there. Quick. Quick, like. <sighs> Another goodie hut. Let's go. Did we get the boost? Not yet. Two turns should line up nicely on early empire. Two turns. There we go. Yeah. So we got a little bit of a gap here. So what I'm actually going to do, and this is just being completely anal about the whole thing, but this is the what I'm required to fill this little gap is less than a full turn. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to do this turn. It'll actually get me past the 60% mark. Then I'm going to get the 40% boost next turn, which will finish it. But I'll only get credit for like 30 or 35% boost because I'll have overdone the thing and I won't get carryover. This way, what will happen is if I do this for a turn, then come back once I've gotten the boost, I'll get the full 40%. And then I'll just have to do this tiny little bit, and I will actually get carryover for whatever was left on that. So that's just being super, super anal a bit the whole thing. But hey, that's what you come for, right? The anal strats. Oh, come on, let's go. That is that is a hundred percent exactly what I was looking for right there. A scout to go look in the north. Let's giggity go. I was I was considering a scout after this trader because I wanted one so bad. That is oh let's oh I'm pumped. I'm pumped right now. Stonehenge gone. Early Empire boost. Let's jump right back into it to finish it off. District's not gonna get done in six. We need to meet another city state. Hopefully we find one in the north. Let's actually head up through here because potentially government plaza here and then so we want to see where we want to put a city up here to work the government plaza so learning this right now as quick as possible would be nice uh rubop skadoo you do that as well yeah i do it actually pretty often as well but i don't always point it out um like the re i don't always point out the reasoning for me doing it so i'm actually just gonna wait there and come back this way i don't want to mess around with him but I thought I'd just point out the reasoning why I switched back and forth. There's the Cory boost. And next turn. Love it. it was Love doing it. That brought down the Roman Empire. With air Early Empire. So there you go. There's production. We got the survey going pretty good. We haven't seen barb camps pop back up. So I feel okay here. I feel okay here. I feel like that's probably where I stay. Uh, hopefully...
Hmm. The city feels strong. The both cities feel strong. The trade route. I guess I'm likely to have districts going in this city first, so it'd make more sense to give it to Brisbane and go that way. I was thinking about the possibility of doing pyramids in this city, making this Petra City potential theater square. Potential theater square play here with Petra. <laughs> yeah, let's move it in there. He's going to heal up. We're going by that. A 4, 2, and a 1, 4 with gold. Yeah, I like that. Because I'm going to work this into a 2, 5 as well, which is going to feel really nice. So we're back into work, uh, state workforce, like I said. Now, one thing, if you were like just getting ready to get a, a district built, you could divert to some of this stuff you already have a boost for to give yourself a little bit more time. But that's just delaying your political philosophy, which I which I feel is is a bit of a rough one. Um, now options in here, we could push toward push in a builder. We could push out another settler, which would cost us population, which I'm not a big fan of. We are not that far away from being able to get the government plaza going, and that would be a chop likely here, I feel like. I feel like this is a government plaza here. It doesn't make sense to put a government plaza anywhere in here. Like Even if you put a city there, like there's not really any place to do anything with it. This is in the way of government plaza stuff here, obviously. Uh, there's not a lot. Like This is all in the way of government plaza action for a city in here. So I feel like it's probably here. It's a little bit flat. There's a river, so commercial hubs will look good in there. So I'm going to say up in here. So I'm going to go with the builder. I'm going to run a builder out here. And I can turn on the 30% production towards to speed that up. Maybe we could squeeze out a settler or a slinger as well. I could throw on a gogi and try to squeak out a builder and a slinger before it's time to uh I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Didn't speed up the build we're about to be pop five, so that'll help. But, uh, Builder into Slinger. Was that supposed to be six turns that Builder last time? Why is that still only five with that card on? That doesn't feel right. Um, but I'm going to try to get the Slinger and Builder in. Builder into Slinger, and then the Builder chops out into the, uh, what I think is probably Government Plaza right there. Uh, Tishon, I am not playing Secret Society mode. Nope. Governor Reyna? No, not Governor Reyna. Why Governor Reyna, Skos? Uh, I would typically never... My Governor action is pretty typical. Uh, I am often Pingala, which I'm going to throw in here. Two of Pingalas into two Magnus for provision is pretty typical for me. I don't really... I, no one's ever really made an excuse... Or an argument, I should say, for anything other than that early on. Land acquisition's alright. It can help a little bit, but I'm working lots of culture, so land acquisition's not going to be a problem. I'm getting the hell out of there. Try and come up through here. Maybe there's a gap I can get through there. Come up this side. Crossover. Let's head back this way and speed that city up a little bit. Turns are shrinking away. 
we need some things to happen or we're going to be in the ugly, ugly standard classic. I don't like our odds. Haven't met, haven't met a city. It's much harder to meet city states. I will say it's much harder to meet city states. Or sorry, uh, civilizations when you are on like an island or like a not an island, but the small continents and stuff. You generally have your own section to yourself. Yeah, I, I've never really heard a good argument for Reina early under any circumstances, to be honest with you. Uh, Corey into potential early pyramids. Always nervous hit next turn continuously because I'm not... Look at that 253 camp tile. Oh my goodness. Just gonna venture out. Can't believe we haven't have another barb. We had the one barb camp. That's it. Another barb camp can mean the difference between a golden age and not. We should hit our government if we find another city state. We should hit our government, no problem. Another city state for sure would be a big deal. Oh, there we go. That feels good. That's the first meet. It's a little bit extra gold. Cahokia, those mounds could be coming in handy as well. Should be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, okay. What do they want? A holy site? Come on, really? Look at the worst, worst requests ever. Uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, Tishond, I've mentioned it a number of times. The, the game is a thousand times easier on Secret Societies. Um, you get you get bonus buildings and... Oh, here's a... There we go. There's a barb hut to take out. Won't be... It'll only be two years scored. Better than nothing. Secret Societies turned on is... It's it's a di totally different game mode. It's, it's, it's not even... You can't even compare them. Four free governor promotions at the beginning of the game. That alone is... is silly to try and even compare you know i feel like i might not even get the kill here i'm gonna try i'm gonna go like this he's probably gonna kill that i'm not sure if he would kill him or not no i don't think he would next hit probably kills him um this warrior probably doesn't get there in time but i'm gonna put him there just in case this guy doesn't go i don't know the thing is, is once that's killed, it's going to respawn somewhere else, and I just I don't want to be over here when it spawns there. Found some good. I was just complaining about not finding goody huts, and then uh, here comes the goody huts. Um, I'm grab a slinger out of here as well. Take advantage of having that card on. We're growing fast, man. That's so nice. So nice. Almost a pop six. Love working towards all those extra. Oh, that's unbelievable. He didn't kill him, guys. As it is to have a profitable bottom line. Um I am going to turn on Oh shoot, maybe not. Just a second. I wish I, if I'd have gone Slinger first, but I didn't want to go Slinger first because. Hmm. Maybe I go Double Builder and turn off a Gogi. I wouldn't. Well, I don't. I don't need it. I just, I'm gonna get this kill either way, so I don't need it on. I can just keep it like this. I like that, that's fine. So there's the era score and the three gold. Still got lots of work to do. We're gonna need to find some goody huts. Let's try and open this up. Maybe there's a goody hut hanging around somewhere. 
Um, these guys are just straight up in the way. I'm going to step here and hopefully this opens up through there. There's probably going to be some quadrums hanging around because of that. Now, here, I am going to go with... The Slinger. And we're six turns. So we're going to get our government of this era. We'll be right around turn 40. That's really nice. Working all this extra culture. Maybe I go Slinger, Slinger into the... Because I'm not going to... Like two turns. If I go Slinger, Slinger. Or maybe Slinger chop out a Builder. Another builder. That's not a bad idea. Chop out the other builder. I'm going to pro ping, promote Pingala, and we're going to work the, the science. Whatever, typically, whatever I'm lowest on, I'll grab as my second promotion. If it's even, I tend to I tend to shy towards culture or, or favor towards culture, I should say. Um, just because early culture is a little bit more valuable than early science. But when I'm this far ahead on culture, doing this well on culture like this, and I like to be able to get that little science boost going. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the science, and our population, of course, is growing really nicely, which is, is great. And then we'll go Magnus Magnus with our government plaza and building. And yeah, we're going Slinger Slinger. So we're taking advantage of our cards really well here. I'm going to go Slinger into Builder, chop this. I need to keep my eye. i got to buy this tile. Um... My initial thoughts are this is the plaza. This could be the commercial hub there, but I could also do the commercial hub here. I could do a commercial hub uh, campus theater square triangle with with um, Petra there and then the commercial hub is a three four whereas here this city's commercial hub there would be one two three four for the river and then probably five for uh, for charming we'll lose the trees but we'll keep the water and the river for charming. That would make it a five. So I think the commercial house could stay out here. And then I could put whatever, an entertainment complex or something. I could, I could throw anything out here just to give the extra adjacency to these two eventually down the road. Or even a holy site, I suppose, would be, would be all right, I suppose, for some extra faith generation if I wanted. That's long term, though, because this would be too... That'd be two four districts. I could potentially also, let's say if I put a city, I was thinking city here, but I'm also thinking city here because I'm only going to get one more in, right? One, two, three, four, five. If I put a city here, I'm not going to get another city in before Cahokia. So if I put a city there, it creates a little bit of extra distance, which is nice. On coastal cities, I like to leave a little bit more extra distance than usual because coastal cities are losing tiles, obviously, to the water. I'm also losing tiles to, uh, well, I guess the desert's going to be good at once you with Petra, but it's the, the number of workable tiles right now is a little bit issue. We're good. Petra will make these much better. By the time you throw districts on a lot of these tiles, you start to run out of stuff to work. So if you put a city there, uh, which fits perfect, you can grab everything. Then you get down here. This could be the commercial hub for this city. And... I could put another district here, and then I could put a city on one of these two tiles. Mm. I prefer the Plains Hill, to be honest with you. I prefer the Plains Hill. Though I'm not sure here because... The river, there could have been a city on the river here, but it, we're too close. That One of these two spots, anyway, which opens up a couple of districts for this city. So maybe 
I don't put... Maybe this is the commercial for this city, and I put the commercial out here for this city. And just go trifecta. I think that's the play. And then this, this city gets the government district stuff. I think that's the play. Hey, Wood, how are you? Um, we're going to want to get into the greenery here before too long because we're about to be at four out of six. I'm going to go builder though. Got a lot to do up here. We got chops for settlers coming in hot. Are we ever going to get that turned into a 3 4? I, I, I kind of like the idea of keeping the camp for a 3 4, but I want to say we're going to be in districts eventually as well. Maybe we go 3 4 on it now. And not do the trip settler, but I kind of want to do the settler chops, especially if we're not going to get a golden age monumentality. We're not making a ton of faith, so so unfortunately we're going to be stuck in the rock and a hard place. There we go. That tile opened up nicely. Is eating cheese and crackers and learning stuff? That sounds like a good. I love me some cheese and crackers. I am a cheese and crackers kind of guy. Uh, Canberra could have a harbor instead of a commercial hub. Hasn't uh, it? Uh, it could, but um, two reasons why I don't do that. First of all, great merchants are a thousand times better than the counterpart great admirals. So that commercial hub is whenever possible. And also with the ability of the commercial hubs getting the appeal, this is going to be a plus four commercial hub. Three for the appeal. And four for having two other adjacent districts. So this is gonna be a four anyway. So this would be a four amphitheater or this would be a four amphitheater. A four harbor and this would be a four commercial hub. I'd rather have a commercial hub every time. <laughs> no no sure. Ships What are you talking about ships? Did you just say ships? Yeah, that's the reasons. My reasons, anyway. Builder. I'm just going to have this guy hang out on this edge. Hope for a barb hut to pop up in here somewhere. Could use some love. Oops, sorry. Still, still getting some extra turns. We're going to get our government here pretty quick. We're still going to be like five short. I don't know what else I can do. Other than clear barb huts, which I'm not getting the, as much chance to do as I like, it's it feels an awful lot. Carving a stone. Feels an awful lot like. Yeah, I'm going double builder. I'm going double builder. One, two, three, four. Only four tree chop. Only four chops into settlers without this. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That's rough. As much as I like the look of this 3-4 tile here, it's going to have to come eventually. I think those are settler chops. I hate to say it. 
think those are settler traps. need 19 more experience shoot why didn't I I was thinking I had a promotion on that guy but that's the other dude I need to kill one more barbarian I don't know where that scout went from the bottom one should be a scout around somewhere might a resource we're on our way to do. Well, this guy will anyway. This guy's going to be the chopper for these three. This guy will be the chopper for the two stone. This guy will... Uh, oh, that's quarry. I was thinking that was minor resource. Gypsum's a quarry. Silver's a mine. That was a brain fart. Okay. Um... Top four, we maybe work that. Not a ton of food outside the four, so I kind of feel like you want to run another two two, but honey down here becomes a five one. Spend the gold to get there though. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be quite so it's not going to be minor resource like I was thinking in my head. We're going to need to reveal the iron and see what happens. Uh, it's going to be purchase this tile time. And I'll buy this tile as quick as I can as well. Hate to buy tiles when you're running culture, but... Ultimately, when you need the, you I might as well buy the tiles. I'm not going to get this one for free, so you buy it when it's cheaper. Excuse me. You buy it when it's cheaper. It's the only way to do her. Because you gotta have it, right? You gotta have it. You buy it when it's cheaper. Ugh. Really hoping to find a goodie hunter. See, we need points. It is not that there it is. Now it's ten turns to go. We're gonna be into our golden or our uh, new era. I could get currency. We could run straight through there. That's nine turns. God, I was hoping that bar pot would pop up somewhere here real convenient. About to be pop four or six. Let's grab that granary so we don't hit our pop cap. We'll start having some options for districting. We also have the pyramids in 16. Once we get the granary, I think we go into pyramids. Opens up ideas for theater square. We could even put the pyramids like here. That cedar that we could put this city's theater square here, I suppose, on the pyramids there. I'm not sure I want to spend money buying a desert tile when I've got one perfectly fine to do it here. Plus, the theater square for this city could go on a bunch of spots out here. That would give it great adjacency anyway. 
Plus, look at this lake. Yui Teokali in here would be fantastic. I really wouldn't mind. I don't. I rarely push Yu, Yui. I feel like I want to push Yui. I could put Theater Square here and here for this city and this city. How do we? How do we like that idea? Huh? What do we think? Where is Yui? It's Yokali. There it is. Keep that tree. And those are both plus five theater squares. Yes, thank you. Thank you, uh, Hackbert. I was blind. That's how often I use two e UE. I don't can't even find it in the pen section. You like that, Rubo? I like it. And then uh, we can still go commercial hub. This is a this is breathtaking here. You could go campus here. You could go campus here. Although. Uh, it's only breathtaking if you keep this, though. You kind of want to put a, another building here. Yeah, it's breathtaking if you go there. I don't really know if there's another option. I don't want to put it on the volcano. Might be a good option. One, two. And then if you keep it breathtaking, it's a five. You'd lose this. It's no longer breathtaking. Too bad that wasn't a tree. So, options, but probably this should be a commercial hub here. And actually, oh, you know what I just thought of? No, if once the theater square is there, that's in the that's um an, that's um increased appeal. So one, two rivers, three. Uh, sorry, one, one here, two here, rivers three, lake is four. So that once the theater square is in, that stays like that. That's fine. So then commercial hub could still go here. So this city's commercial. This could basically be the triangle for this city. This city could go there and campus here. That'd be a plus three campus. Oh, no, it wouldn't be plus five. Is a, so there you go. Uh, in fact, we could actually go... We probably would rather have a better campus than commercial hub. It wouldn't be a bad idea to probably do this. Right? Oops. Oh, jeez, what am I doing? Um, you gotta keep one of these trees. And then this is... Oh no, the river's fine. So there, this is a four no matter what. No matter what you do with the trees. This is, this is fine. And then this here is... Oh, this is no longer... This is not breathtaking, though. Oh, yeah, you probably want to... This is one... Two... Three, four, and then five for... Uh, charming. So this is five for charming. Out here, it's... It's... Three... Plus one. Yeah. Even if you got another district, it's plus one. So yeah, this is still the way you want to do it. And then this, yeah, this is good. This is the way you want it. So these two and this, this is the triangles. This is the districting for this city. I like that. It feels good. It feels good. Good conversation. Good conversation. One turn on political philosophy, two turns on the builder. We go right into our government building. So we, we'll start the one government building one turn short, but we will have the builders out. We'll be able to change out the production towards builder card as well, which would be nice. We won't need that in because we'll be in good shape. Divide and rule, a sound motto.
governments a better one unlocked so it's classic republic all the way of course and we could turn this out and grab Mm -mm -mm. Go plus two there. Grab the production back. Extra couple gold there. We don't need this yet. Not really buying a lot of tiles. There's one more tile we need to buy, but I probably could have waited to put this card in. I wasn't really thinking, I guess, on that. Uh, Corvée isn't a bad idea because we're going to go into pyramids in like three turns. Although, we're going to have a lot of switch outs. We're going to be backtracking and have a lot of quick switch outs, potentially. Where are we going on our policies? Uh, I'm not jumping on those. We probably go here or here. Actually, probably here into feudalism. We can jump backwards for quick turnarounds whenever we need them. So that's probably the play, meaning we do put Corvée on, I think. We go Corvée and production and plus two. And we could probably go survey for our scout still, although there's not a whole lot of extra points out there. It's not a bad idea. Not this, this is, some, this is, Two gold. I mean, come on. We're not using this. I may have to buy a tile or two, but... I think I'd rather just earn the gold. This isn't going to get us anything right now. Yeah. It's not much, but I'd rather get the gold. I, I'm not worried about the... Uh, simply because we're not on continents or Pangea, where we've got a lot of exploring to do, I'm not really worried about my... Uh, my settler or my my recon units getting a bunch of extra experience. It's not nearly as valuable as it is on a lot of the other maps. So it's not much. It's two gold, but it's kind of the best we can do. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to get the pearls going as well. This guy is going to go like that and work this. I think what I might do is chop the trees and keep the deer for the camp. That's one, two trees. Three trees. That's three trees, two stone. It's not great. It's going to turn us into grinding settlers, unfortunately. Nine turns. We need six era score. We could really use a goody hut or two. <laughs> Speaking of which. Um, we could really use an envoy. We could really use an envoy for first sues. So that goodie is going to get us to 20. First sues would get us to 22. We probably couldn't afford an army. Yeah, 200 a pop. We might be able to get there by the end of era. 22. Still haven't met a sieve. There's no way we can count on it. This would be another point is 23. That puts us too short. If we were to... Goody Head is 20. First Sue's is 22. Tech is 23. If we saved up our gold, we could levy an army for 24. We would still need one more. Could chop the campus. We could chop the campus. That's absolutely something we could do in two turns.
We actually slowed down our builder by taking off that card too, by the way. That was supposed to be one turn. It cost us a turn. Chopping the campus is an idea. Four turns. Magnus establishes a nine. That's too late for Magnus chops. I mean, we're talking about a golden age where we're not making faith. I just got finished talking about how a a golden age monumentality where you're making six or eight faith a turn is kind of crappy. But it's better than a standard age. Assuming you get Golden Age the next turn. There is an argument to be made to not go into the Golden Age and guarantee a Golden Age in the Medieval. If you go Golden Age here, then it becomes much more difficult to get the Golden Age the next era because you don't have your dedication. Uh, yes, I have masonry to chop, yeah. Yeah, it, it, this is where, it actually, there's actually an argument here. Because a Monumentality Golden Age would be worth so little. Like, even if we started working all of this, that's 12 faith a turn. Like, even at the third, I mean, even if you're making 15 faith a turn, it's, it's not nearly enough to get, what, maybe a Settler? Maybe if you're like, maybe if you're super lucky, a settler and a scout, or sorry, a settler and a builder. Like it starts to feel pretty weak. Whereas if you stay away from it, you can take your dedication and guarantee a golden age in the next era. Going so this is this is the thing, right? If I'd have taken. Um, goddess of appeal, like Earth Goddess. I'd be I'd be working um, a lot of extra faith, and it would start to make a monumentality run feel better. At this rate, monumentality gets pushed out to the Renaissance. But with the faith generation we have, by then, it would actually have maybe a little bit of use. Free inquiry in the medieval era with some really nice commercial hubs, assuming we get them built, also feels pretty good. This is a this is breathtaking. If you get rid of these jungles, this is breathtaking commercial hub here. Yeah, you know what. I am going to make the strategic decision to lock up a golden age in the medieval era and not take a really, really poor golden age here. In the uh, classic era. That's what I'm going to do. It's a tough decision, but I'm going to make it. It is a tough decision, but I'm going to make it. This guy's going to wait. I could have turned on the tile purchasing card. I just realized I had to buy this one as well. That would have been two tiles I could have bought for cheaper. Uh, you know what, though? That's fine, because I have lots of time. We'll probably get at least one of them for free. We're working lots of culture. We'll, we'll open up at least one of those for free. I'll wait and see what happens before I buy tiles. But in fact, I could actually wait nine turns. Uh, I got four turns on the government plaza plus ancestral hall. I got lots of time to get those unlocked, so I could put I could put the buy, uh, the purchase card on in nine turns. In fact, it might actually be worth throwing the camp on now. I could take the camp off and chop the trees, put it back on. That's a waste of two charges, but it gives me a three four tile. Yeah, I don't like wasting two charges on builders. 
It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. There's another luxury. We're gonna work on all kinds of luxuries. I'm just gonna have this guy stand here. I'm gonna stand in place. Maybe this guy attacks me. We get that third. Here. Save the goodie up for next year as well. Which is, I know, a few turns off yet, still. Okay. I think I'm going to call it there. That's actually over 50 minutes on episode two. But things are feeling pretty good. Uh, all things considered. Lack of golden age stinks, but lack of faith wouldn't have made it that much better anyway. Absolutely love how good our cities are we've got we're working a ton of really good tiles the lack of uh earth goddess is hurting us on faith like i said but the camp the camp uh pantheon is feeling really nice it's it's fun to play with i gotta say some really nice juicy tiles a couple good cities here we'll spam out some settlers get some more cities going we'll uh we'll probably have to grind some cities but we'll have a productive we we'll have a productive capital, a high population capital, and we will just grind out settlers for a while. We'll, uh, when I come back, we'll be ready to pop settlers, and I'll have a whole bunch of uh, space looking like this. Uh, so, or sorry, have all the space filled with tiles, uh, pins. That's what I'm trying to say, folks. I'm gonna call it there before I say anything stupid. <laughs> Too late. We'll see you next time, folks. Twitch, not just YouTube. Twitch, don't go anywhere. Sorry. Uh, we'll see you on YouTube next time. Thank you so much for the support over there, by the way. Channel's growing leaps and bounds on YouTube, and it feels real good every single day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.